Welcome to Erro Friedrichshafen, and this is the day before the show, but I'm going to give you the same special treat that the journalists get, the press tour. Oh, the glamorous life of an aviation journalist includes a lot of press conferences, and so we can't begin our press tour without a press conference. Don't speak German? Well, that's okay, they do give us translation. And then we're walking. We're walking. First up, Schempf Hearth Arcus Glider, a self-launching sailplane with a retractable prop. Oh, by the way, the model is not included. And we're walking. This is still setup day, so the 12 hangar-like exhibit areas are still fairly bare. Ah, the Cirrus SF-50 Vision Jet. Well, nothing really new, but hey, it's still pretty impressive for the non-aviation reporters. But Dyer has the new TBM 940 world premiere here at Aero. Now this turboprop is actually faster than the Cirrus turbojet we just saw and new in the 940 auto throttle and automatic wing de-icing with Garmin G3000 avionics and autopilot. Hey what's left for a pilot to do? And we're walking to another world premiere the Horton HX2. This flying wing is actually flying with a Rotax engine not yet certified. They're not sure what category it's going to be in, but hey, it is flying. And we're walking to the Junkers F-13. Believe it or not, this is a brand new aircraft, although the design is 100 years old. And you can have a new one, about uh, $2.2 million, uh, depending upon today's exchange rate. And we're walking to Siemens and all the possibilities for electric-powered aircraft. You know, most electric aircraft today are flying behind Siemens motors. And speaking of flying, I don't think this thing does. It's made of wood. I snuck away from the press tour to see it. And that's the Aero Friedrichshafen press tour. Gosh, don't you wish you had a press pass?